We just recently talked about this on the podcast that when you give exogenous testosterone, there's this temporary contraceptive effect and mm -hmm. people aren't warned about this. And I find that to be really frustrating. I have couples and they've been trying for months and the male partners on testosterone and they had no idea that that was impacting their outcomes. Right, right. They're just not informed because these these clinics, uh, they make money doing it, but they're not, do they're not doing a good job, at least from a patient care standpoint. But it begs the question, I mean, the fact of the matter is sometimes these guys are prescribed testosterone because they truly have low testosterone. And right. if we take the testosterone away, then we have to deal with the low T. So how are you addressing the testosterone in a, a man who's really still desiring fertility? Yeah, th th there's a number of ways where we could preserve fertility while improving testosterone levels. And, and that's the main question, right? When, when a guy comes in with low testosterone, I mean, I do a lot, like I'm an andrologist, right? I do a lot of low T um, from across the board, from guy who's in his, in his 20s to somebody in their 80s. And the, the first question you have to ask all these guys is, what's your, what, are you interested in fertility? And if you are, when? You know, sometime in the next year, sometime in the next five years.